here I'll be using uh, our demo uh, instance. I'll change to English so you guys do not have to bother trying to read Portuguese. Uh, I'll log in with the default credentials that were presented in the, the previous pane, which is admin Rhoda. After logging in, I can see that I'm logged as the user uh, admin, and I will have, as I've uh, demonstrated in the presentation, to transfer the, um, the file. So upload, choose the file, choose creation date and time is one minute ago. So this is one. This is the the SIP that I want to upload. I have the confirmation that it was uploaded uh, correctly. Other strategies to transfer the information to the repository are available. I mean, you can uh, mount uh, an SF. Uh, SSH connections and other strategies to move the information into the proper uh, folder uh, of the repository, which would then appear here on the listing. And if they do not appear, if you uh, put the, the, the packages directly uh, on the file system, you might have to hit the button refresh in order to uh, redo this listing. So, as I said in the presentation, just need to select the package, start new process, select some options for ingesting. I will not change the default options as they are the, um, the advised uh, options for uh, ingesting properly information into the repository, like doing virus check, uh, file format identification using Siegfried tool, and so on. Other options can be turned on. Um, and I just have have to to hit the button create another thing that is very useful when we are trying to automate things is if we wanted to create the same process but using the command line this is the template that can be used to use the, the command curl in order to uh, create this same process but instead of using the web user interface to do it in a more uh, automated way just to show you that uh, role the interface guides you uh, in the process. So I just need to hit create. Here I can see it was waiting. Now it is running. 14% uh, is done. If I it will auto reload uh, the information. So uh, 14 seconds uh, have passed and we are still running. We can see down below that actually um, it is ingesting and it, it is performing um, under this uh, submission information package, it is performing the virus check. And then I can see that the process itself as a whole has gone to an end. It took th the 32 seconds. And here I can see actual information as I showed in the, my presentation about individual tasks that were performed, how long they took and so on. So transforming the SIP into our internal IIP, uh, checking for virus, doing metadata validation against the schema, file fixity um, uh, calculation, that is calculating the checksums for each individual file that is in, in this AIP and so on. Okay, so you can see all the details. Uh, and as I said before, this is recorded as primary events as well. We have here the option to go directly to the information uh, archival information package that was created. I'll do so. Here we can see precisely the title that I've given the, this, the SIP in the first place, and now uh, it was uh, transformed into an AIP. We can see the date uh, that I've created. And down below, you can see all the representations. In this case, one single representation was created. and here I can see the two files um, I've put it inside the submission information package, which I can click. I can see the viewer directly on the browser. I, I can use the viewer directly on the, under the browser to, to see the, the file that was uh, ingested. As I demonstrated, we can see extra information about technical information, preservation metadata uh, about the file, um, I can see the image by clicking the next button. This is zoomable, so the viewer um, has some capabilities. It is not just a, an image viewer, a simple show the image viewer. We can see as well some information about 
about the, the file. And we can see here that um, preservation information exists, 10 entries, as well as, uh, as I said before, all the actions under this uh, repository are logged. So if we hit here, we can see that browsing, for example, and opening a file is recorded, recorded as well as we can see the premise information for uh, this AIP, for example, as we have in a timely manner from the older to the newer, we can see that the ingest process is started. It was the first premise event created and the last was the ingest process has ended. And in between, we can see all the single tasks that were performed into this SIP that was later on created, uh, that later on created an AIP.